So I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how to use Otter AI to route meeting notes into it. Otter AI is a platform that lets you take meeting minutes based on Zoom or anything like that. It's a live transcription software and it works great for Zoom if you're the meeting host and you own the meeting because you add it to your meeting as a source to live stream to and record your audio and live transcribe your meeting. I use it all the time for meeting minutes and things like that and it's just really useful. It doesn't work so great if you're not the one who owns the meeting or you're on like a Google Meet or a Teams meeting or something like that uh, because you can't really add it if you don't own it. Uh, there are ways to invite Otter as an attendee, but it's very weird. And I didn't, I did that once and it was very odd. It kept posting in the chat that we're adding meeting notes and all this stuff as me. And it was very weird. So I, I, I sought after a way to make this work a little bit nicer and a little more controllable on my end. So I just want to show how this works. Uh, so right now uh, I just have my audio that you're hearing. I'll go ahead and hit record in Otter, and we'll start to see my voice get transcribed live right within Otter. This is awesome. This is me talking, and I'm able to live transcribe this. I really like this feature because you can have this as a source if you're recording videos or something like this. Uh, this is controlled through another tool called Voice Meter. Uh, this isn't a whole tutorial on Voice Meter, but I'll show a little bit of my setup. Uh, I specifically use the version called Voice Meter Banana. That's the version uh, with a virtual audio cable. Uh, in my case, if I were to disable this B2 output, that is my Otter output. That's what routes that into Otter. And as you can see, my voice stopped appearing in Otter at this time. B1 is the output that you're hearing. Uh, so that's where I'm routing it into the recording software that I'm using. If I were to switch that and I'll disable B1 and enable B2, you won't hear me, but you'll see my transcription. So let's see. Uh, so a little confusing, but that's how that works right now. In the case of a meeting, uh, I route that audio this, a similar way. So I have a meeting uh, as an input in here and it goes to my headphones, which are A1, and it goes to B2, which is Otter. Uh, so that's kind of nice because I can control that and control the volume as well individually on the meeting. In addition to meeting, I have system. So to simulate this meeting thing, I'm going to use the system today, but the meeting would be the one I use for any kind of call. Uh, in order to do that, I'll just end up playing a YouTube video. So let's see here. We'll go to my video and we'll hit play. Setting parameters. We're both hear my video, like that. so it's a little confusing. Would appear in this category. So I'll mute it uh, on if my we want to uh, and mute it for you guys hearing this through the routing software. So right now the video is playing and we don't hear it at all. We just hear me talking. The cool part about this, we'll leave this playing, is I can route this to Otter with B2 as the output. So we'll do that and then I'll stop talking for a second. So that's kind of neat because it is audio from my YouTube video that I just uh, I just started playing. I went ahead and disabled it on my output once again just to not have that clash. But yeah, uh, as I'm working, I'm able to route that audio. Um, Otter's really nice because if I were in a meeting, for instance, like I'll disable my output right now. Uh, it's not recording it in Otter, but if I were in a meeting and I'm just sitting there listening and taking notes, I would be something like this. So let's see. And Otter is really great because as we're having a meeting, you can go through and keep on taking notes, add comments, add screenshots from the meeting and things like that. And as you can see, I'm talking, but it's not tracking my audio because I disabled that B2 output. Uh, so there it is, uh, one quick way to make this work, to be able to take meeting notes through Otter, using it in a way that's a little bit different. Um, like I said, I am not covering the whole voice meter setup. I can do that in another video. Uh, but I just wanted to share kind of some of my 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 setup that I, I sought to figure out after I had that issue 
where Otter joined a meeting as me. I wanted to have a little more control over this. What's great is you can even have a video playing like I do now and have the text if you wanted to read it. Uh, or you can transcribe videos um, just on the fly. So it's pretty cool. Uh, there it is, Otter AI meeting notes, kind of how I do it. Um, yeah, hope that helps out. Thanks.